Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be talking about what pack for the Gwail thought. And just before we start, um, I'm doing a podcast next week with a psychologist. So if you have any questions you'd like to ask, and I'm going to be touching on social anxiety and stuff like that, please send in some questions because I really want to get your thoughts on it. And uh, go follow my Instagram and Snapchat as well where you can DM me your thoughts. So today I'm going to be talking about what pack for the Gwail thought because clearly people enjoy Gwail videos because... <laughs> If you look at Lurgan, <coughs> it's clear that it's doing well. So, let's like when I first went, I was looking up around trying to find out what you need, and I couldn't find it anywhere. There was one video that the girl did, but there's no harm doing another one from a lad's perspective. So, first thing, you need to pack for summer and winter going because you can literally go from one day it being 22 degrees, really hot and you were in shorts, sun cream and everything and another day it can be lashing rain and cold and you need to prepare for a boat because literally Connemara where some buildings are not everyone's in Connemara but you need to be prepared for a boat because the weather can be really changeable especially with the Atlantic influence so make sure you pack so like for summer shorts t-shirts jerseys stuff like that for winter you know hoodies rain light rain jackets heavy rain jackets stuff like that just Make sure you're prepared for both. Number two, and this is really important for me, water bottle. Get a two litre bottle of water, you'll be filling it up every day, and it will be so important because, like, some guilties you have access to the shop, and some you don't, and some some guilties have shops inside. So I went to Lurgan, so there was like a shop in there that the students could have, and then Kinneres and Clunsores could go across the road and use the shop across there. So I was able, my second year, I was able to go across, but depends but just do bring a two litre bottle of water it will be a lifesaver make sure you keep hydrated and um, yeah it was a i was always carrying my, mine around i actually have a picture of one of the heads evan gaffney who we had to dress up as who we want to be when we're older and when i wasn't there he i showed up late and he literally got dressed but he <laughs> he dressed up as me and he was carrying the two litre bottle of water like a baby i'll put the picture now okay Swim and, clo- swim and clothes and no shoes. So you really need to make sure you have um, swimming clothes. And most quilters you go either kayaking or to the beach or something like that. So make sure you're prepared for that. Um, and just be kind of making sure you're listening when they're saying what you need to be bringing. All shoes are so important as well with all the activities and stuff. Don't bring your brand new runners with you. You can bring them maybe for like the evening time with the Kayleys and stuff, but don't don't wear them to sports and stuff because they're going to destroy it. Um, because you don't want to be wrecking your shoes when you're on the wheels, it's just no point. It's not a fashion show. Okay, this is one thing that I didn't know until the first year I went. Try, even though they're penny t-shirts or something, try and have a t-shirt every day because not every girl has a laundry service and if they do have a laundry service, sometimes they're not great. They take like a week to get your clothes back. I think I've heard of clothes going missing and stuff like that. I've talked about that in my other wheel video. What to expect when you go to the wheel clothes. So, that's my advice anyway. I know my counselor, Aaron Duffy, he brought a t-shirt for every day. He was there. And do just bring as much clothes as possible because honestly, you do go through a lot of clothes when you're out there, you'd be surprised. Because like, you're wearing well for the day, you might go doing sports, that's another set of clothes. Then for the Kaylee, there's fancy dress and stuff, so let's be prepared. Heavy, I touched on this earlier, heavy coat and light coat. So like some days it can be lashing rain, and but it's still warm. So you kind of need a light rain jacket, and then some days it's going to be like lash rain and cold, so you need a heavy, or you can have a jumper under your light rain jacket. So just bring a good few kind of hoodies and jackets and stuff because you will honestly need them. Okay, then for most Kayleys and Gwilders, it's like different evenings, different themes. So like it could be like relationship night, so it's like green, green, orange, and red for single, complicated, and uh, in a relationship, or girls up as lads, vice versa county nights so we had to wear county colours like and loads of different themes so kind of bring some like weird kind of fancy dress and jerseys and stuff because it honestly it actually just is go crack those evenings are actually really good fun to kind of break up the monotony of the whole thing um now bring pen and paper i know in learning you don't use it because it's all just oral it's all just oral work so i don't know 
I think on the grill that you might have to write stuff down, so bring a pen and paper just in the off chance, but I don't think it all depends on your wealth, but just have it anyway. Sure, it's gonna be no harm having it and not needing to use it rather than not having it and you needing it. Okay, um, so every day you're given lunch, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack in the evening. Now, the lunch varies from cloche to cloche because in Lurgan, the school feeds us the lunch and some, some grilled dogs, the balance sheet gives you your food and you head off then and eat that. So, but bring snacks because you might not like the food there, you might have a nasty dinner one night and you kind of, you're only left starving until the next morning. So, bring some snacks in your bag. Um, <laughs> I know some people had like full bag worth of food. Sam, you mad God. <laughs> um, yeah, so definitely... Yeah, definitely bring some food. School bag. It sounds like such a silly thing, but uh, the amount of people who forget it. Wearing your water, your maybe your pens case, whatever, your copy, and even in learning we had hand, or, um, handouts. So uh, do do bring a school backpack. You'll be thankful of it. A couple of towels. Now this is so stupid, and I don't know why I forgot the first year, but again, I wasn't really sure what I was supposed to be expecting, but bring towels like bring a couple towels because you might have to have like like if you're having a shower in the morning and then maybe you need a shower before you go to Kaylee because you were at activities that day and you're sweating or whatever so bring a couple towels bring a hand towel i totally forgot towels the first year i went thankfully i was in galway so my parents were able to drop out a towel to me but like not everyone is as fortunate as i am phone okay so every world is different lurgan it's you're allowed to use it in the morning, you're not allowed to use it in the cloche. You're allowed to use it in the evening time. You're not allowed to use it during the Kaylee, and then you get it for a while at night, and then you get handed over overnight. But again, it depends on house to house, grilled to grilled. Some grilled is in no phone probably for three weeks. All depends. I know in the other video, she said to bring a fake phone. That yeah, we we've done that before, where you just like when they are asked to hand it up, you just hand in a fake phone. So. Depends, can you live through your exertion phone? That's up to you, so. But you get your phone back, I think, to talk to your parents. So I don't know. So if you want to bring a fake phone, bring a fake phone, because you might need to hand it in. And then money. So remember, you're only for three weeks, right? And like I said, there might be shops there, there might not be shops there. So, but like this, you're getting your laundry done, and you get your clothes clean, you got to pay for that. So bring some money. Bank account's pretty handy as well, but bring some cash, I'd say, because... For the likes of laundry, you're gonna have to pay. It's gonna be a couple of euro if you split it all between you. And then if you're getting like a bar or something, to sh if they have a shop in the cloche, and they might not necessarily have. They might not necessarily have, like obviously you'd be able to use your bank card. So bring some cash with you, but bring your bank card as well. You never know. Depends. It all depends on the wheel. So if you're lurking, we were able to go across the road to use the shop, but not every wheel has that because it can be quite rural at times. So. Um, that was all that I think it needs to be brought if I forgot anything down below comment down below to help anyone else out who's looking at going to Squilt again is a bit nervous about it um, but enjoy your experience honestly best thing I've ever made I hated Irish before I went and I'm, I'm never going to deny that I hated it but as soon as I went out I fell in love with the language and now, now I've gone for the second year in a row and I'm now going to an Irish concert on uh, Thursday kneecap and the Roaching Dove so yeah if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, we're nearly, we're just hit 600 subscribers, thank you very much. Um, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, Dara underscore Jordan, and Dara is me for Snapchat, and uh, yeah, we will see you next week. Good night, we live. <laughs>